Yes, so I was invited by the USCA on their launch, United Sindhi Culture Association, to speak an older generation and a younger generation. Questions were posed to me, which you have seen in some reels that I have sent you. But since the voice is not very clear, I have tried to concise what I said. So, what does being Sindhi mean to me? It means to feel proud. We did in these last seventy years. We did not only survive, but we thrived. After having left everything, even though we left our possessions and land, we built colleges, schools, hospitals. We have no beggars in the Sindhi society. People, some people feel that we are obsessed with money, or we are miserly, or we wear bling, too much bling. Remember that we were brought up. With, what did we bring from there? We brought a lot of pain. We had no possessions, but we brought a lot of pain and a lot of fear for survival. So, of course, even in these seventy years, we did not fight. We did not waste our time fighting, but we. Persevered to make money to secure our wives and children. These were the Sindhi husbands and fathers, and therefore some turned conjuice because they knew the value of money. Some who had arrived wanted to show off, uh, maybe with their bling and with their jewels. But basically, it is a psych the psychology that made them behave sometimes like that. But all that aside, now that we understand, we have to feel proud of what we Sindhis are. Why don't we speak Sindhi in our Sindhi homes? Well, in order to survive, when we left our homeland in which went to Pakistan, we were left with no land. We had no place to go back to, where Sindhi was spoken openly. So we. We settled in different parts of the world and in different parts of our country. Let's presume those who went to Gujarat; they had to learn to speak Gujarati, that was the local language, Hindi, that was the national language, and English because that was the international language. So, in order to be able to really survive and make it, we had to learn these languages, and so Sindhi went into the back burners. In Places abroad like Spain, only Spanish was spoken for survival, and so we retained our Sindhi. But now that we have arrived, we have programs like this that keep us, you know, wanting us to return back to our language and our roots. Today, I would like to speak about. Some pahakas. Now, what do the pahakas do? Pahakas are the proverbs that make us uh, know about how we Sindhis lived. So, I want to share some with you, but mostly connected with what we came, what we survived. And they said, for those who were conjuice, one of the proverbs were, "Who was sown he gorio jo kanachene." What is the point of? If you want to just accumulate so much money that it gives you stress, what is the use of gold earrings if they are going to tear your ears? Another one is put the mal bhai dia the hal bhai. They knew that even though sons were important to continue their legacies, put the but yet the dia is the one who asks and gives you the the feeling, and uh, then. Saburu jo palu meto. That means that if you have patience, we will make it. So, what else can we can I say? That now that we have arrived, I'd like to say these verses that come in one of the Sindhi songs. Sabu kuchh chale tu aaye penje vatan je khater, lekin to san andi mitri abani boli you left everything the only thing you brought back besides fear and insecurity was your language so now is the time to retain it but i ended with hum honge kamyab hum honge kamyab hum honge kamyab ek din 
हो हो मन में है विश्वास पूरा है विश्वास हम होंगे कामयाब एक दिन थैंक यू